Yo, yo, what up, YouTube? Long time since I've done a video, but I figured I'd do one today because, well, I, a while back, I bought my box turtle a new 40-gallon uh, breeder tank. So, I thought I'd just do a video to show you guys how to how I set mine up and how I take care of her and stuff like that. And, well, I guess I just wanted to share it. So, here we go. Alright, so, here, Lucy is a three-toed box turtle. So, and we have, for her right now, she's getting to her, um, Repti Ramp, her bowl. And to me, I think this is perfect size for her because she can, you know, move around and it doesn't take much water and it doesn't take much to dirty it either, but change it out at least once a day. And here I have a, uh, Repti Sun 5.0 for um, general purpose, just one so she doesn't get metabolic bone disease and stuff like that, um, malnutrition, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I just try to make her tank as uh, realistic as possible. Here is this is a piece of flagstone that I actually got from my backyard and. I had a couple of rocks here in the corners and stuff, and it helps file her nails down. She doesn't have very long nails. And I got one over here, too, so if she comes out this way, then, um, it'll kind of file her nails down. I got bark in here, too, just because of the fact that making it look natural again. Some foliage back in the back, deck, back there. This actually is kind of funny. It's this is right here is a um, oh man, they use them for caimans and they float on top of water and stuff. So I actually bought one of these and it make works perfect for her hideout and stuff. If you look back there, and right here, as you can tell, she's already dug a bunch of holes right here. But what you want to do is just kind of make a big old. I don't know how to say it, but, uh, mountain, I guess, of, uh, dirt, and then put that right there, because she doesn't like going in here if she can see through, and plus it makes her, I guess it stresses them out, because she always wants to get out, and she can't, and I actually, for my substrate, I have, um, Zoom Meds, rep, I can't remember, Zoom Meds, dirt, whatever, or coconut stuff, I don't know. Whatever it is, it helps um, compost her um, feces and stuff is what it does if it's kept wet. So what I'll do with this is when it's dirty, I'll kind of just pour it around in here and then mix up the dirt a little bit. And that's why you get all those patches of um, wet dirt and stuff. But it actually helps keep the substrate moist and stuff. And as you see right here, this right here is... Um, Coconut husk is what it is. And then here, I haven't, I don't have it on right now because it's summer here and it's perfectly warm for her in my house. Right here is a um, purple. I want to say it's 125 watts heating lamp, and I have that for um, the winter time. So, that, well, one, I don't have to heat up my room, and. Um, Two, I bought the purple one for, um, well, light purposes, because it really doesn't have much, it doesn't illuminate very much light, which I like, because I can keep it on at night, too, and, you know, not wake me up. And this right here, if you haven't noticed, is my little contraption. So what it is, is it's, um, tubing, and I put a little nozzle on the end of it, and this is Teflon tape, and I have that this right here, and it's just a jar that I drew, drilled a hole into and what it does is it pumps water out and just makes a little drip so that if when I'm gone or something like for a while, I wouldn't say like a week, like I was just gone the other week for um, out in California and I turned it on and you know have it set on a timer and stuff <clears throat> so it just drips and kind of keeps the substrate nice and she likes it too and um under under the tank I have a uh, what, 
a heating pad. The Zoomed extra large heating pad. So that it also helps heat it up and stuff, especially right here underneath where her um where she hides out is where I put it because she really it keeps her warm under there and stuff like that. So the the heat lamp is supposed to keep the rest of the tank warm. And what I usually feed her are mealworms and I usually give her some of this stuff right here. This repti calcium with D3. I give it to her with D3 because I don't know, I just I'm one of those people who would rather be safe than sorry. You know, because there was other ones in there that was without D3 and blah blah blah. Even for my salamanders, I have salamanders over here. And even for my salamanders, I do it. I dust my crickets before I give them to them. But this is how I take care of my three-toed box turtle. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching.